Hello, and welcome to today's online module on longitudinal and multi-arm studies in REDCap. My name is Fred Lapola, and I'm a librarian here at NYU Health Sciences Library at NYU Langone Health. In this series of videos, we're going to talk about using the longitudinal study design feature, which allows for multiple study arms, setting up different events where we can say, uh, collect data at different time points throughout our study. We can designate which instruments to be given at those different time points. We can also use an optional scheduling module to assign certain events to happen on specific dates for our participants. We'll also be talking about how to set up a screening arm within our studies. Just a quick recap, REDCap is a tool for data collection uh, where you can build instruments and surveys that can be emailed out or filled out by uh, staff and study personnel who have logged in. It is entirely web-based and can be uh, filled out from multiple locations and storing the data in a HIPAA compliant and MCIT supported way. Features various data quality features such as the ability to assign uh, dates in specific date formats, collect emails with the email format, and then you can export it into various data analysis tools. Again, REDCap is not designed as a tool for data analysis, but it does have features for directly exporting our data. With the longitudinal multi-arm studies in REDCap, we're able to create study arms, define those study events, meaning the time points where we're collecting participant data, designate data collection instruments to be used at which specific study events, and we also have the option of scheduling dates and times to administer these surveys. This creates an additional step to our normal workflow between uh, creating our forms in REDCap and deciding who's going to be doing what on our project we're going to also think about designating arms and events. I'm actually going to jump over to the REDCap project, and I've already set up a longitudinal test project in REDCap. Just to show what we're looking at, I've used the REDCap instrument library to import two pre-built forms, uh, a Nacho Craving Index survey, which again, for demonstration purposes only, as well as a demographic form. Uh, we could go into those and see how we feel about them. But again, for today's purpose, the main thing is just to have some forms in our project. And so I have these two forms here already imported. I'm gonna jump back to project setup. And up at the top, one of the first things we're going to need to do is enable longitudinal data collection with defined events. Here we can go in, once this has been enabled, we gain a new section underneath our online designer uh, box for defining events and designating instruments for my events. I'm first going to click on define my events. And here in arm one, I've gone ahead and added a few study events with study ingest, 30 day follow up and 90 day follow up. So we could imagine that this is the time point one of our study and then a time point two, time point three. And if we wanted to add a new event, I could type in 120-day follow-up and add new event. So now we have these four events. Custom label, we, ought, we can pull data from the uh, participant information using square brackets and it will pipe in that data. In general though, this might be sort of an advanced level feature uh, that might not always be necessary. We could also, if we want, create a second arm so we might imagine we have a control versus a, uh, a intervention arm. So I'll just call this intervention arm. Save, and I can add the same events if I so desire. Ingest, add new event, 30 day follow up, add new event, 60 day follow up, I guess it was 90 day and 120 day follow up. We also have the option to upload or download a CSV of our arms and events. So for example, if I download the current events as a CSV file, and open that up, We can see a spreadsheet of our events, or yeah, in this case, our events, 
listed out for the various arms. So if we had a very or a relatively complex design with many events and many arms, we might choose to copy and paste in this setting and then re-bulk upload those arms and events using the Excel spreadsheet CSV option. In the next video, I'm going to talk about designating the instruments for my events.